This is the future. Good morning my fellow Cryptonians and welcome back to my channel. So the project for today or should I say for the next few days will be to close off my palisades so you'll know what I'm talking about once you see it. So the first thing I had to do was buy these planks and uh, I must say buying it from the sawmill directly cost me like four times cheaper than buying it from any other place. Granted I have to sand them down myself and stain them myself but there's nothing wrong with these things, they're there for a reason now. So come check out what I'm doing, I'll take it step by step. So all these palisades of mine are not exactly the same length and some of them has got the same length at the bottom and then you have like this piece that's has nothing and so every plank on every section of palisade has to be cut its own length and its own way so i started off with my first plank deciding i'm gonna make it about from here down to about here so up to this level so i put the plank against the palisade I measured it and I used my brand new saw which I had to buy yesterday to cut it so here we have our first plank that is now the correct length so I'm gonna take the remainder eight that I need from that pile we're going to cut them all exactly the same length and then we'll take it from there okay what I'm doing now is I'm taking the planks that I need for the one palisade. I'm taking the one that I've already cut and I am measuring where to cut it so that all of the um, planks are exactly the same length as you can see there. Then I take a square, I take my square and I mark it like so. And then we're just gonna cut all of them in the same place to make sure they're the same length and uh, then we'll do the next step. The next step is to sand down the wood. So I took this block, put some sandpaper around it and I'm going to use it now to just quickly and roughly sandpaper down the piece of wood. The only reason why I want to do that is there's a lot of loose splinters on the wood and I want to prevent the kids from getting splinters in their hands once they touch the wood. Next up, I've got the tech screws that I'm going to use to mount the planks to the palisades. I've got my drill bit that I'm going to use to drill the holes into the plank. So now I'm going to measure the plank, see how high from the top I need to make my first hole. And then I'm going to drill all my planks at the same place for the top. Now that the holes are all drilled, it is time to stain the wood. This is the kind of stain that I decided to use. It's a wild cherry and will fit very nicely with the color of my palisade. So, see how nice the color looks. And you see now when it goes onto the palisades that the paint and everything matches up very nicely. Now the instructions on the bottle says that you have to sand it off a second time. I didn't do it. I didn't see the point in doing that. So I just stained the second layer on top of the first one. Just give it about half an hour before you stain it a second time. The next step is to drill the holes in the metal. Now this angle iron, or what this palisade is made from, is extremely hard. I thought that the tech screws will drill itself into the metal, but there's no way. So I had to get the drill bit and make holes everywhere. And then line them up with the holes in the planks and make sure that they're all the same height and level. So I'm obviously gonna measure now the distance between the poles get the distance from the top to the bottom, get the center, punch them and drill them, top and bottom. After getting the center, I took a center punch and I punched the guide holes onto the metal and then drilled all my holes until they were all done top and bottom. And here comes the last step, fitting all my planks in the spaces where they are needed. 
4 days later and this is the result. I hope it looks good. The end. Now my new puppy cannot get out of the yard. Thanks for watching and as always Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cripzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcasts if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be taken straight to the anchor podcast page where I do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email and on my youtube front page there is now a paypal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me thanks for watching and until next time cheers